so guys, I went to take the trash out and then I realized behind our building is so much trash. Somebody must have been moving out with like two apartments worth. And uh, see if there's any little goodies. It's actually, it's all worth money. People would spend money on it. I was actually going to make a YouTube video about it. And it's like, I'm glad that you're getting the DVD player. Cause, there you go. Yeah. So and this, this is a, what do you call it? Uh, a bar. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> So, with the extended sides for entertaining. So I'm gonna. Oh, I should probably go in. Yep. Yeah. Some people you want, you know, hundred bucks for the whole set or whatever. You know, because the whole set's there. The I think. Whole dinged up. I might, I might run back in and get a screwdriver to take the whole socket out. But there, it's, it's, yeah. it's always a bunch of neat stuff. Although, how, how does the, how does the bumper get out here? <laughs> I don't think so. That's crazy. I mean, we don't. We that could be what he called. Somebody might have had a car work done. And yeah. That. I will say I do kind of like that, that table. This is still good too. See, I do a lot of electronics videos, and so it, it's always good to save this kind of stuff and oh, yeah. at least tear it apart or use it for something, but it's always a shame to see it go. Yeah, the electronics thing with a quick black paint job, mm -hmm. somebody will pay 100 bucks for that because it's not broken. There's nothing wrong with it. It's yeah. just dinged on the edges. Did you see the microwave over there? I did see the microwave. That's a little older one. We, yeah, we, had, we had an Emerson microwave, back in the... I'm a little funny about that, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you don't know what people were cooking and... Oh, I didn't even see the paintings over here. There's a bunch of paintings yeah, back there. Paintings the back. Yeah. Well, that's kind of funny. I wasn't expecting to come out here and some of the stuff would already be gone, but it makes me feel good though because then there's less stuff for me to take. And because I was going to take that DVD player and just cut it up and take the circuits out of it, but they're going to use it. And uh, I can still get the light bulbs that I wanted. Back we go with screwdrivers. I do love these catacombs. I should probably show you guys these sometime. Our basement's pretty cool. Man, everyone's looking at all this stuff. It's kind of amazing. Glad my stuff's still here. stuff like these lamps are all kind of shitty i took the bulbs to play with i don't need the cables i will say that table is kind of neat but that's pretty messed up and yeah i'm really glad they took that dvd player because you know what is this also like that No, it's not. Okay. I didn't see a cable, so I didn't think so, but I really liked that light bulb that I got. That's the, that's really the only reason I like I, I did this. Well, let's go inside and look at the bulbs we got. So I actually got something to show you. Okay, what we got? Um, there wasn't there was another incandescent bulb, but I threw it away. It uh, turns out it actually was busted. But we got two light bulbs, and I got some money that'll pay for the oh the uh, the wipe to clean them. If you're ever worried about balancing the budget. Um, oh yeah, sure. So there there was a uh, some some trash behind the building, and there was a VCR that I, or sorry a DVD player that I was gonna get, but um, some people were already out there getting it, and so I was like, well. I no longer have to save it then. So uh, I've already wiped this off, but I thought of all things, I've always wanted one of these tubes and 
or one of these bulbs, sorry. When I was a kid, I thought they were electron tubes. They kind of look like it. Yeah. And uh, there's like no rust on this. There's, uh, there's some oxidation on the cord. I might just pitch the end though, because I don't think I'll even need it with this end. Um, I might end up doing something like putting it with a cloth covered wire like that. But um, so we have, okay. Uh, 130 volt, 25 watt bulb. This is by uh, Specialty Lighting, Shelby, North Carolina. Um, it looks like 70s or 80s to me. And that goes in there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this one we have just an LED bulb from the past couple years. It's been used a lot though. You can see it's kind of yellowed. So yeah, I'll probably take that apart. You know, this is a bit unfortunate because we had filmed this, but then like, it didn't save the video. Yeah. And so, well, what did we do before? We, we took this and we took it over here yeah. and put it on the place of the 1930s bulb. But that's pretty hot. Actually not. No. It's barely warm. You want to feel? Oh, let me see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I wasn't running on full power, so. Man, this video's been all sorts of weird. I, I, I expect to be filming a video of taking apart DVD players and stuff, and I go out there, and they take it. And, it's a nice uh, bulb. Yeah. I like it. Well, it's nice that people are using mm -hmm. other stuff. I know. That's the thing, though. Like... This is such a small video that I don't really care if we uh, mess it up or whatever. What is the deal with this? Listen, it was a cheap Amazon light that I got. Oh, it was Amazon. I thought it was Ikea. No, it's Amazon. Oh, okay. So, it's going to be a little too bright with that, so I'm not going to plug that in. But I might see if I'm using that for another project. And this... You know what? I did just get an 80 volt solar panel. I wonder if I plug in, plug 80 volts into that, if these can handle DC. All right, so I thought a fitting use for this bulb would be as a resistive load for now until I make an, a display of a bunch of different types of bulbs that I find. And I just got this solar panel, which is uniquely difficult to use because it is a uh, 90 volts. But an incandescent bulb should run on 90 volts. So here. Seventy-five volts. See this is a uh this is a photo, a rare, uh, like germanium arsenide photo collector type of solar panel. And all these lenses need to directly focus the light in. And so I need to figure out, here you go. I need to figure out, because it goes on a solar tracker. Oh, there we go. 97 volts. So it does work on DC as well. 97.5 volts. You can see why they didn't want to use these panels that much though. It's like one degree off. And it uh, loses all its power. 97.2 volts, that's kind of neat. So I'm just holding the, the panel here and the sun is almost in the right position. You can see the current is going up. And pretty soon it should kind of take off because the sun is almost at a parallel line to it. Do I notice some glow? No, I don't, okay. Got a 
sun sure moves pretty slow. You see it's counting up more now. So as the sun aligns with it, it'll start start to glow. Oh, we're going up now. 10, 11, it's happening. Make sure you can see it over on the camera. 14, 15, 16. We got filament glow, 18, 20. Oh, this is awesome. 23, 25, 26, 28. Oh, this is, this is really interesting. Forty volts. It's really glowing now. Fifty volts. I moved a little bit. Oh, now I can go off the brightness of the light to tell it should be sixty-seven. Gosh, the back of the solar panel gets so hot because it's got 90 volts, 90 watts of power going to it. And now we're up near the top of the S curve and we got a lot of power. And here's something I want to try. If I pull the curtain over, watch over the cables. Yeah, pull it around the cables. And then pull this curtain and uh, pull it over the thing. I'll put it on top of it. Getting caught. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm going to move it back in. That's funny. Some, some, some of the turn on water or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> That's, I don't know, that just tickles me. I'm getting that from the solar. Now I have to have my arm holding the solar panel up, but... That could be like a... Wouldn't that be weird? Like, if you could have a solar panel around the other side of the world, you could have a night light over here. Oh my god, yeah. This thing is so exact, though. It's getting pretty bright now. It's kind of hard it to is. look at. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, let's uh, put the curtains back. Now, this panel is definitely dangerous. The other ones that are 12 volts, um, they're suitably dangerous, too, but... But yeah, this uh, this panel, my gods, it is hot. And just like that, it's over. It's almost like waiting for a solar eclipse. Yeah, it did feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> so even in ambient sunlight, it gets like 60 volts. It's just a few femtoamps. Well... Do you want to? It's kind of warm standing by the window. I'm kind of sweaty. I'm burning up. But that's my fun with the trash pick find light bulb. And 
I'm gonna make a different video for the other one, the LED bulb, because it kind of flickers weird, I noticed. I'm gonna take this outside and make a proper test setup. And we're gonna see what happens whenever we take an LED bulb and hook it to 90 volts DC. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching. See ya.